People at Sennheiser were great. It's absolutely a fabulous mic. In fact, when we've been to events like the Academy Awards, yeah. we see the guys, you know, like ABC Radio use it, and that's like, they swear by it. They absolutely love that mic. Yeah, uh, we're going to the Academy Award Governor's Ball Preview, and you will see a lot of the professionals with Stenheiser mics being held during this. Yeah, they really, really do like them. Oh, 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 one more. Now, now, not only do they have these mic skins, but they also have the, okay, so the bling bling hits Sennheiser. <laughs> you can actually get all the crystals all over the microphone for the Sennheiser. That was pretty cool. Oh, okay, so you're wondering, okay, Gibson, Sennheiser, isn't there a whole lot more to see at NAMM besides that? Okay. Huh? 1,500 exhibitors. There are a lot of exhibitors. Yeah. Um, part of it is we're hitting on some of the highlights. Um, I, don't, I think it was, it seems to be a little quieter of a year. Yeah, well, okay. It, it, well, uh, part of it is is that they, they decided to vote out the main, most of the mainstream press this time because they weren't holding as many press conferences and they basically didn't want people asking the question, what do you think the industry is going to be like? Uh, well, you know, we do have some of the things. Like here's Roland. Roland, uh, we did an interview with them at CES because actually I didn't think I was going to see him at all. Yeah. But Roland always has some great products that are coming out. Two of the ones I'd like to highlight is this is their V piano. Oh, yeah. My keyboard is Yamaha and Casio. So. Now, this piano, you're going to notice this has three foot pedals. Oh. I've never seen that on a standard. Model. I know. Now, this one's really focused on the piano. It's a stunning piano. It's on board from grand piano classics to never be heard. Futuristic hybrids. And it's a newly developed 88 note PAJ3, whatever that is, ivory film keyboard with escapement. It's got a USB memory port and a MIDI import output. Yeah. Oh, the thing about a MIDI inboard, inboard output, you still have to have the MIDI device in between. Don't count on the fact that it will work. Well, you know, and what's the company that you like on that M Audio, I think? Yeah. So this one, it's really kind of interesting. Uh, Roland always has some very intriguing products that they have available out there. Now, here's the other one I thought was really kind of cool. Here's this synthesizer. This is a oh, shoulder, yeah, I seen the those. shoulder synthesizer. I know. Now, that almost reminds me of, you know, like those rock band guitars. Oh, yeah. But this is like, or pianos and things, you know. It, it, it allows the guy to go, well, okay, a lot of piano players are singers like Billy Joel. Okay. And it allows someone like Billy Joel to get up and walk around while he's singing plus play his piano. Well, this one's got a sound generator on board. Yeah. So, I mean, this was, I mean, this uh, is pretty I, cool. I used to have a smaller version of one of those Rear things. Rear panel, neck panel, rolling strap. I mean, that one was really cool. But, of course, for that, as always, is go to Roland's website. Oh, actually, there's those drums again. In case you didn't catch those, this is like those speed drums. Okay. Yeah. Where you can where you can play rock band style or traditional style, and learning how to play the, the but drums. To be honest, I can tell you, as a person that's played drums all of my life, that you they're they're nice little toys, the electronic drums. But the reason a drummer plays the drums is to drive his family crazy. <laughs> and if you can't make noise. Well, you know what they do is they hook it up. When I say rock band style, it's hooked up, and so you're looking it on, on on the screen. And so you know, like rock band, like you're trying to strum at the right time. They, you hit the guitar thing at the, I mean, the, not the guitar, the drum at the right time. Yeah. But it was really, really kind of cool. But you Roland, know how they used to determine if you were a serious drummer? Right. That if your family puts you in, out in the garage at the back of the property. That you're a serious play. drummer. Yeah. <laughs> oh, here comes the playing up again, right there. Okay, so also at them, there's always, now, you've got the instruments, how do you make the sound, what do you do? Now, one of the ones that you always like to use is Cakewalk, don't you? Which is also M-Audio. Which is, yep. And Cakewalk is also a Roland company, did you? Yeah. Yep. But one of the things that they came out with is their, oh, they've got a demonstration video. Oh, they're also video. Sonar, too, yeah. The Sonar family. They've got USB audio interfaces. Um. Okay, beware that there's a basic problem with Cakewalk is it does not like Vista. Well, now
now we'll get rid of that with Microsoft 7. Maybe the new ones are better off with this, though. Yeah. You know, they've, they've got uh, upgrades and street price. They've got some inexpensive ones, and they can go to much more expensive. Oh, no, you can go get, uh, you, can go get uh, you know, $60, $70 for the programming. Yeah, I mean, it says on here that it addresses the gap between underpowered budget solutions and overpriced competitive solutions yeah. while offering a compelling feature-rich music production system that is accessible to a broad range of users. Yeah. So that part's really cool because, well, you know, you start out with those inexpensive ones. You get an idea of what yeah. you can do, and then you graduate to the other yeah. ones, which is, of course, what they want you to do. I know. I mean, I've got, I have three, I have three cakewalks and two M audios and one magic. Yeah. So, and they actually do, they do work. If you know, if I, what happens is. I moved things around to get them off of Vista over oh. to uh, XP. There's a trial version that oh. says it's good for Vista. Yeah. We shall. Well, no, see. they all say they're good for Vista, but we shall see. The Vista is the, the Vista is basically it sucks when it comes oh, to MIDI stuff. Oh, it sucks the MIDI stuff. Yeah. Okay. Because it's got its own built-in MIDI system, and mostly you have to go back and reconfigure your computer to make it work with an exterior MIDI. Well. And I, I did. I mean, I got yeah, M Audio. I mean, I've got a studio. We've got a very good studio mic that goes with our M Audio. But it took me forever. I had to load and unload and load and unload in order to get it to work on the Vista system. And finally did. Well, we do have more highlights coming up with you. Oh, actually, this one's the Taylor Guitars offers luthier experience through a build-to-order program. Now, it invites, it's basically, you get to develop a custom guitar with the perfect fill appearance and tone paired with Taylor's signature craftsmanship. Oh, Taylor, okay. Anybody know, okay, if you're a golfer, you know Taylor Golf Clubs? This is the same Taylor? That's the same company. Oh, that's they basically got, they, a couple of years ago, they decided to get heavy back into guitars and things. And oh. they were talking to, the head of the company was there talking about the press about reintroducing Taylor. Taylor was a well-known brand, but they de-emphasized music instruments to go into golf clubs. Well, you know what's really cool is I'm looking at this, this gorgeous Macassar striped ebony Madagascar rosewood and other 40 different build-to-order guitars. I mean, oh, I that's... Mean, if the public could only get in to NAM, which, I mean, I think, my opinion is, is that shows like NAM and Consumer Electronics Show should have at least one day, Where like maybe the last day, it. when it's a short day, for the public to come in and see the ungodly equipment that is available. Well, you know, because you go into places like Guitar Center, you go to, and Best Buy has yeah. their whole music center, but you know, it's just a fraction of what's out there. I mean, they oh, would just be overwhelmed. The, yeah, I mean, the car, we're talking cars are row sunny. after row after rows of unbelievably beautiful guitars. We're, we're talking not only guitars, but keyboards. We're talking pianos. We're talking horns. We're talking, you know, uh, flutes. You know, harmonicas, xylophones, everything you can think of, all in one place. It's like a candy store. I know. Well, there's a lot more to see. In fact, I'm just going to tease you. Because there's a few more companies that I want to go over. That's the next part, which is... Because I'm not going to show them all the stuff that I get. Okay, this one is... I know, I had to do this one. This is by a company called Sure, the World Tour. Oh, Sure? Sure. Yeah, we know Sure. We've talked to Sure many times. I got, yeah. I got a, a t-shirt that's... It says my earphones are worth more than your iPod. I know, I always love that one. So we've got more coming up, but I'm just going to tease you and show you their press kits. Sure, Monster Cable, Yamaha, and of course, PV. Oh, so anyway, just for now, this is not a spring chick, as the wrap-up for now continues.